Okay, have you ever wanted a nutrition list right at your fingertips without having to spend a penny? Might seem like a bit of a pipe dream, but actually, as we're about to see with AI, we can get incredibly good meal plans all created for us at zero cost. And in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that, how to integrate it with Notion or any database tool that you might use to create a perfect meal plan for you that you can then stick to and update as you go about your life. So let's dive in. The most important thing when thinking about a meal plan is thinking about the macronutrient breakdown of what you're going to eat. Now, if this all sounds a bit complicated, you know, working out calories, working out protein, carbs, fat, all that kind of thing, uh, chat GPT can actually do this for you. So let's look at how that's done. So all we need to do is just type in what we need to be eating in terms of a calories point of view. So let's have a look at that. First thing I've done here is just given ChatGPT my basic details that you would give any nutritionist. You know, I've told them how active I am, I've told them my weight and my goal, which in this case is to put on around uh, two kilos of, you know, ideally muscle mass. Uh, ChatGPT is outputted to me uh, the calories per day that I should be uh, eating uh, and being in an excess of between 250 and 500 a day. Um, so now what I'm going to ask it to do is to give me a macronutrient breakdown of this calorie split, which will include the protein, the carbs and the fats. It's given me these answers, which is saying around two to two and a half grams per kilo of body weight. So it's about, you know, a gram per pound, which is generally considered pretty standard um, across uh, the industry of fitness. Uh, and then carbohydrates and then telling me to keep my, um, you know, fats around 25 to 40 grams a day. Obviously, you don't want to go too low on fats or it might affect your, um, you know, testosterone levels and things like that. So now it's given me these macronutrients, I'm now gonna ask it to devise me a diet plan that would fit these goals. So let's have a look at how I do that. So what I've asked it here is to give me a meal plan that would meet these macronutrient goals. Uh, if you ask it for a meal plan in table form, um, although it's a text-based uh, you know, um, software, you can actually get uh, a table put in, which is going to be really helpful as we'll see later. Um, and if you just ask it to itemize out calories, protein, carbohydrates, and fat separately, uh, it's going to do this for you. Um, this though looks a little bit boring. I haven't got much variation here. So I'm just going to ask it for a few variations of dinner so that we've got something to play with. And now we've got three uh, different recommendations or three different variations of dinner. So I'm not just gonna be eating uh, the same meal every single night. So now what we wanna do is we wanna take this and we wanna put it into a Google Sheet. And then we're gonna move it across to Notion where our meal plan is gonna live. So let's take a look at how we, uh, how we do that. So let's open up a new Google Sheet and simply copy these across where we've got the meals and you know what they're what they're gonna um, entail in terms of the macronutrient breakdown, and I'm now gonna open up uh, Notion, which actually has all of my meals already in here, just in a in a slightly nicer format. And what this allows me to do is every day plan, you know, exactly what I'm gonna eat. I've actually got a full video on this specific system, um, so I'll leave that in the description if you want to check that out. But for this part of the video we're just going to be looking at how we you know import these into here so we've got one clean space where we can manage all of our meals so here i've got calories protein carbs and fat uh here i've got calories protein okay perfect so all i'm going to do here is just copy this directly into notion and it's literally just going to put this in here um now I could give these, you know, proper names. Um, so let's come in here and call this uh, omelet. And then the lunch, if we go back to the meal, was a grilled chicken breast. and dinner was a few variations. So we'll just call this um, dinner variations. And then we have everything in one place with the calories, the protein, the carbs, and the fats. Finally, I'm just gonna paste the recipes across from ChatGPT. Gonna add a quick image for each of these just to make it look nice.
And now I've got these new meals in my meal planner and every day I can just put in the date. I can add in the different meals that I might've eaten. So let's say on this day I have the omelet and then I have the eggs with salmon. And then I have my, uh, one of my dinner variations and it's gonna tell me the total calories that I've eaten, the total protein, the carbs, the fats, all added up so it's not like a completely restrictive diet. I can just put in here what makes sense to me and it's really that easy. And if I ever run out of ideas that are gonna help me meet my calorific intake and my macronutrients, all I need to do is come back to ChatGPT and I can just type in uh, a new variation of something that I might want. So let's say, can you make me a meal which is 700 calories with at least 30 grams of protein and it's just gonna take that information and output me a meal that makes sense and if i want to go even further here i can actually get like more in-depth recipes so let's say this looks a bit boring i can literally just say this looks a bit boring can you give me a slightly more interesting recipe for the above meal. I have this uh, new meal. All I need to do is pull it back into the, uh, the Notion, use my meal template, and then put in the ingredients and the instructions, and then add a nice image so hopefully there's one here of quinoa bowls and there we are that's one more recipe in my list and again say i was very hungry today and i wanted to eat that uh, all I would need to do is come into here, find the grilled chicken and quinoa bowls. And again, it's just going to add it to that, taking my calories up to more in line with, with what it should be. So yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. Really is uh, just your imagination, the limit to this tool. Uh, I found it very helpful for generating recipes. And when I'm in a tight spot and I know I hit, have to eat a certain amount of calories and a certain amount of protein, I'll just bang it into chat GPT and it will give me a meal. So yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. Like I say, it works really well alongside um, the diet plan that I've created. Uh, on Notion. So I've got the template description uh, in there. And then you now have everything you need to do to use ChatGPT as well to just start filling this with recipes that you might like. So thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.